Mark McKenzie and welcome to my video on the five essential strumming patterns. I've been teaching for about 20 years now and I've come across five essential strumming patterns that every guitar player should need to play a multitude of songs. So what we're going to do today is we're going to start with one of them and it's the most common strumming pattern. It's called the rock strum. Now the reason it's called the rock strum is it's based on a drum beat and it's a rock drum beat. Let me just play it for you and make it real simple and then we'll break it down in a second. So I'm just going to play a G chord and I'm going to play it over and over. Okay, I'm going to play one bar of that now. So it's just one strum. That's the strumming pattern that's happening there. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Now the reason we want to learn the strumming pattern is it's based on a whole bunch of songs that basically use that strumming, that rock beat. So if you've ever heard a drummer playing uh, the do ta do do ta do ta do do ta, guess what? That's exactly what we're doing on the guitar. So it's a very percussive instrument. So let's have a listen to that now. Just with the fingers, my fingers over the strings, so we get that noise happening, and I'm going to strum that for you. You can hear the rock beat there. Boom ta boom boom ta ka. Dun. Okay, we can play it slow, we can play it fast, but basically that's the beat. So that's the strum we're going to be learning today. So the reason we're going to learn this, obviously, is because so many songs out there use that basic rock beat in some form or another. There might be variations on that, and uh, you can get to, to that later on, but just as long as you have that foundational down, down, up, up, down, up strum happening, we'll be fine, okay? And it's based on that TikTok technique that, that I talk about a lot. So uh, let's have a look at that now. So first we're going to start with a very simple part of it. I'm going to do the same. So if you do the same thing for me, we're just going to put our fingers over the strings. My fingers are sitting on top of all the strings, very relaxed. I'm not pressing down, because if I press down, I'll get notes. And I don't want that. I just want to hear the rhythm only. So you should just get this sort of reiki noise happening. So when you strum, you're just getting a percussive sound. It doesn't really matter on the neck where you're putting your hands, just somewhere comfortable because we're focusing on the right hand here. Okay, firstly, we're going to start with a down, down, up. Really simple, down, down, up. That's where we start with, down, down, up. Now, to be honest, if you're having a go at that and struggling, that's quite normal. Um, when people have a go at this, it's new, you know? Give it a chance. Um, not everyone's going to pick it up straight away. Some people will. That's cool. That's just who you are. Uh, don't be too uh, flummoxed or, or like blown out because uh, you don't manage to get that strumming pattern done straight away. What we're going to do is break it down into small sections so that anyone can do this. And when you've got it, you move on to the next section. So we've got our first part of it. Down, down, up. Just have a break. Down, down, up. Have a break. Down, down, up. Okay. Now we need to add the next step. Now the next step is simply another up. So we're going to do another upstroke straight after. Down, down, up, up. Now a common problem that people do when they do this is they strum down, down, up, like this. Notice that it was all in the same time. That's not what we want. We want the rhythm. So the way to get that is to have a down stroke followed by a down immediately with an upstroke. Down, down, up. Then we can add the next up, which is just naturally flows another up. Down, down, up, up. Notice to do that next upstroke, I had to go all the way down again to do another upstroke. Some people are thinking, yeah, duh, of course you've got to do that, but some people don't think about that sort of stuff. So that's what I'm here for. Down, down, up, up. Have a break, do it again. Down, down, up, up. Pause, down, down, up. When you've got that flowing quite easily, have a go at adding the next beat, which is simply another down stroke. So what we're going to basically have is a down, followed by a down up, followed by an up down. That's the extra beat at the end. So straight off that last up, we come straight down. We don't, we don't start, do an up stroke and then hold it and then come down. We just simply up down. So we'll go from that right from the beginning. Down, down, up, up, down. And you can start hearing that rhythm coming out now. Down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down. 
just by itself without me talking. Notice that big pause count going on there. The really important part that we that you don't want to focus on, but you need to be aware of, is that what I call a miss. It's the bit where we do our two upstrokes. We we do an upstroke, we come down, we miss the strings, and we come up to do another stroke. That's really important to do up, up, down, so that we get that groove happening. Down, down, up, up, down. That's pretty much the strum. Now, for those out there that are really finding that quite simple. Um, or maybe you're at wanting to add a bit more finesse to that, we just simply add another upstroke at the very end of it. So we end up with a down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, that's a little bit harder to squeeze in there, but down, down, up, up, down, up. Once again, we're focusing on the upstrokes, down, and up, up, down, up. And that's one thing to really be aware of is the upstrokes. A lot of times, that's the difference between that strum and a lot of and a lot of other strums is the upstroke and where that is. So concentrate on those two ups. If you think of the two ups, the strumming pattern should fall into place quite nicely. If you're thinking about the miss, you'll really struggle. You'll really struggle. If you're wor if you're worrying about that little bit where we missed the guitar altogether, that's uh, that's going to be a bit of an issue. Just think of the two ups and you'll be fine. The net the miss will naturally come in the middle of those. So. That's the down, down, up, up, down, up two times. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. When you can combine those two strumming patterns without a gap, then you're away. I'll give you an example now of strumming, the strumming pattern with a gap and the strumming pattern combined. Here's it with a gap. Hear the small gap between the two? If you combine those two, it should flow. You can do that all day long then, once you've joined them up. Pretty cool. So in summary, that strumming pattern is really, really used um, a lot of the times with a lot of rock strums out there, a lot of rock beats out there. Fast, slow, doesn't really matter. The trick to it is start really slow and in bite-sized chunks, add it up until you've got the entire strumming pattern. Then we program it. And how we program it is just simply repeat, 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 repeat so that you don't have to think about that strumming pattern anymore and you're away. So have some fun with that and we we'll hope to see you again in another video.